Yeah, good afternoon. We're at a roadblock near Cascade Highway South and Main Street just near Malala, and people are streaming out of here, evacuating at this time as the ash falls down from these raging wildfires in the state. And earlier in the day, uh, police from Malala were cruising the streets with a megaphone telling people to get out, saying this was a life safety issue. Take a listen to what they were saying today. The Malala Police Department has been declared a life threat and fire emergency due to evacuation to the evacuation now. And that's what people were hearing as they evacuated. There was a group of volunteers from local communities that have been using water trucks to help put out spot fires and helping people to evacuate and also helping to get livestock and animals to safety. Local residents tell us that that is an example of what people do best in this community, help one another. It's a little scary, like, my, actually with my grandmother, she's off uh, Malala Forest Road right now, and once I'm done here, I have to go and evacuate her. And it's just because of the air quality for now, but Will Hoy and the other firefly Estacada, they're saying that it might combine. At the moment, we're supposed to be going after six cows. We got a phone call about half an hour ago in Silverton, and we came up here and he was going to try and coordinate it. There's a ton of coordinators out there that are sending people different directions. That was Eric Stritsky. He tells us that he may move the cattle that he is able to acquire to his own property in McMinnville because the fairgrounds are not accepting more animals at this time. He says that he has a tractor dealership in Silverton, Oregon called the Santium Tractor Supply. He says that business is likely to close due to the situation in the ag industry right now and the COVID pandemic. However, he still makes time helping his neighbors in the community a top priority. We've also heard that Malala police officers are also helping residents in their time of need in order to evacuate. So everyone is pulling together. Again, ash falling here in Malala. And folks tell me that this reminds them of when Mount St. Helens erupted. They say uh, they haven't seen ash like this falling in the community since then. Another historic point in Oregon's history, uh, now reminding folks of that due to the situation here today.